Counter Strike 2 has now been released to hundreds of thousands of players in the open beta so far, and a lot of players are getting into the game and realizing that it does not feel very good. There's a lot of bugs, there's a lot of glitches, and it just is not as smooth as Counter Strike Global Offensive was. So today, I want to help you guys out. I want to give you a bunch of commands that you can put into your console so that we can make your game start feeling more smooth, more fresh, and more like Counter Strike Global Offensive. So, guys, you got to realize it's a beta, there's going to be bugs, and a lot of these commands I'm going to show you today may not be useful and i hope they're not useful when the actual game comes out because it'll just be fixed but for now you need to understand that these commands are vital to playing because all the top players are using them all the pros all the streamers everybody is having to use these commands just to make the game feel less buggy less bad so yeah but guys one thing that is absolutely stunning with counter strike 2 is the skins they are beautiful right absolutely beautiful so I have a message from the sponsor of today's video. If you ever want to get Counter-Strike 2 knives in real life, I have a treat for you. So go ahead and check out this message. Thank you to Knifey for sponsoring this video. If you do not know what Knifey is, they are a company that sells extremely high quality replica CSGO knives that come in a large variety of different finishes. They ship internationally and have some really unique customizations like name tags and stat track numbers. If you click the link in the description of this video, you can check them out and find a knife for yourself or your friends. I personally think that the M9 Doppler is the coolest knife and provides the best value. Make sure to use code KOJOMO for 10% off. All right, guys, like I said, that would help me out so much if you go ahead and use my code with Knifey and, you know, it'll help me grow, help them grow and just be a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching that. All right, let's talk about these commands. So first thing you need to understand is how to open up the console, how to put in console commands, right? How do we get this console up? So what you wanna do is press escape, go to your settings menu, and I want you to go over here to game. Now, now that you're here on game, it's very simple. Enable developer console here at the top. Go ahead and flip that onto yes, right? Now that that's on, you can press the tilde key right next to your one on your keyboard. That's gonna open up this console right so the first thing i want you guys to see is cl underscore show fps right show if i can type no fps there we go no fps and go ahead and flip that on one now at the top left of your screen you're going to see your fps value so i'm an offline server i have a ton of fps right now um very unlimited very good um i think uh you can do max FP uh, i don't know what it is it's like cl underscore max fps fps max right no, okay, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out, it's not important at all, but you can change the value of your FPS and stuff. That, it's not important, at all. so forget about that. But what is important is I want you to go ahead and type in seal underscore update rate. Make sure that this is on 128. If it's not, make sure that is the value. And all these commands that I got from other people, guys, I'm gonna slap them on the screen. This, These ones are from Cooper. He's been really helpful with finding these commands. And of course, he's maybe not the one that Found them but he's the guy on twitter that's posting them also shout out to him go ahead and check his twitter out if you oh you know want to support him and they mean a lot so keep growing the community helping out all the creators but the next one i want you to do is delete that and go ahead and type in seal underscore interp ratio down here interp underscore ratio and make sure that this is on one just like the last one this might be your setting already but if it's not on this it is going to be detrimental to how you play the game and how things feel so make sure that is flipped on now what you will change guys what is not going to be um a default for you when you load this up is cl underscore interp right c underscore interp make sure you change it to this value if you have stable internet if you have stable internet type in 0.01 five six two five right if you have good ping good connection you don't have any problems go ahead and flip that on now a lot of you play on very bad internet hotspot internet just poor internet poor upload speed download speed whatever if you do not have stable internet then do not put that in instead put the underscore interp 0 0.03 and then one two five now that you have that in that is going to be uh vital for you to have a better feel with the game how people are peaking you how you're able to peak people and it's going to give you that advantage because if you're not on the right interp settings that could be detrimental to you um some people think it's placebo some people think there is uh you know science behind it but regardless i don't think it hurts to put it in don't think about it too much choose one of those values depending on what internet you have and you should feel a, a nice difference with the game in my opinion so go ahead and test those out now one thing that has been driving people crazy especially on maps like nuke is the sound right it's very muffled 
sometimes it's hard to hear exactly what's going on, right? When people are running below you, on top of you, when, when people are shooting their gun, you know, all this stuff is going on. It can be very, you know, hard to hear what's going on. So if you want to make your game sound more like Counter-Strike Global Offensive and have more clear, you know, decisive audio, what I want you to do is go ahead and type in speaker underscore config and go ahead and flip that on two, right? So flip it on two and go ahead and enter and you're going to notice such a noticeable difference right when people are running around doing stuff it's going to be like wow and i think i can actually hear this this sounds like counter-strike global offensive so if any of you are coming from that game which you know most of us are that is going to be very good for you to be able to hear what's going on and uh understand you know the environment around you because that's so important to counter-strike global offensive now I'll give you guys some commands that are preference here at the end. It's actually my view model settings. I love this view model. I think it's very good. Um, unfortunately, there's no way to change the bob right now, how far your gun moves back and forth. But um, I will show you my view model stuff because I think it's very, very good, like I said. Um, so for me, view model FOV, I have it at 68. That is all the way zoomed out. I love zoomed out view model. So for me, offset X is 2.5 all the way to the right, I believe. Offset Y, 2 again just maximum fov and offset x or offset z negative two right so that makes it so it's all the way to the right all the way down and all the way out that's how i like it that's how i like my view model i think it looks very clean and as soon as they add bob settings i'm going to teach you guys the best bob settings for that but for now we're kind of stuck without them so yeah but i hope that this video guys gave you some insight on what commands you should be using for counter strike 2 like i said i hope that these are not useful in the future but for now they're vital right you have to be able to use these in order to make your game feel good and you know make sure that you're able to compete with the best players that are playing on all the secret settings and the goal is to not make them secret i want everyone to be able to know this stuff know how to use your console it's so important do not ever feel scared to learn how to use the console i know there's a ton of stuff in here um, but trust me, it's not that hard to learn once you get into it and it's going to be your key to actually making your game feel good and looking like, uh, the pros, right? So don't be scared of that. I'm going to teach you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on any CS2 guides. I'm going to teach you guys every single thing about this game and you're going to be able to become a much better player so much faster because you're going to learn all this stuff with me and from me that you may have not ever known without. So trust me guys you don't want to miss out check out my twitch kojimo cs don't miss out any of my live streams on there make sure to check out my tiktok kojimo cs and my instagram guys i know a lot of you use instagram so help me start growing on there as well one kojimo so it mean a lot but that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video have a great day keep grinding and let me know what rank you are